Hello everyone, Happy New Year! It's uh, finally 2013, this is the 22nd of January, and I figured I'd make another Nettie's Notables. Yay! A lot has happened since Christmas, and uh, yeah, how was your Christmas, guys? Uh, and gals, I just wanted to let you know I got a new addition to my household. And uh, I never got him his Christmas gift. I'll tell you the story before I show him off. About three weeks ago, um, I heard this little tiny cat. Well, he's not really tiny. He's really big, actually. He's full grown. Um, cat outside my door. And it's freezing cold outside. I live in Canada, so it's like, winter is crazy here. So, anyway, um... It was a little snowstorm. Well, the snowstorm ended, and he was caught in it. This little white cat that I uh, rescued. His name is Angel. Well, that's what I called him. Uh, the No Kill Shelter called him Snowflake due to the fact that he's all white. And um, <laughs> anyway, um, the No Kill Shelter here in uh, where I'm from uh, actually helped me. Uh, big time when it comes to capturing this little bugger uh he actually i just fed him and with cat food and lured him into my house after about two weeks of him crying us on my door he was lost he had no owners uh whoever owned him didn't want him anymore i don't know what happened i don't know what the story was all i know is my neighbors saw him before i did around Christmas time and I'm going to show him off to you now so you can see him. This is my angel. Hello angel. Hello angel. This is my pretty kitty and he's my companion and I love him to death and oh, tell me about your pets. Do you have any, um, any interesting funny pet stories you have? This is my third cat I've had since I've been on my own. Well, actually four cat. But, I love him to death. He's about a year old. He's not neutered. He's male. And he will be neutered, I say, soon. And he needs to be groomed. He's quite dirty. Due to the fact my headset's falling off, oh crap. Damn! So it's hard to keep my headset on and hold on to the cat at the same time. Do you see him? Isn't he gorgeous? Oh my god, and he's not deaf. And he's a white cat that's not deaf. He's quite the handful, as you can tell. Right, Angel? Yeah, I know. Anyway, um, that was my cat. And he's my new addition. I love him to death. He was a, he was a rescue. I rescued him from the cold. And it's snowing out right now, as you can tell. Um, uh, the window. Um, you can see very well. It's pretty bad out there. It's really, really snowy. Miserable. And he destroyed my blinds I had up there. The first night, it was absolutely horrible. I did not sleep at all. It's like having a newborn in your house. And where he's not neutered, he tends to, um, fly a lot. So, yeah. So, anybody who loves cats would love this guy. He's an absolute charm. He doesn't jump onto things. He doesn't, um, scratch up furniture. He doesn't eat my human food. It's great. You know? And my, I couldn't think enough thanks people enough from the no kill shield from the team jobs help me catch this bugger because i wanted to cat for a long long time i had two cats before i moved here and this is a pet free zone so i had i was nervous nelly when i was pretty much getting him because i was fostering him until i knew um I can keep him. I wanted to keep him. I fell in love with him. Uh, right off the bat. And, um, as soon as I held on to him, I fell in love with him. He's quite, uh, 
They're a little, uh, bugger. I love him to death. And, um, yeah, he doesn't sleep with me. He sleeps on the bathroom floor on a towel. Um, what else can I tell you about him? He's my pride and joy right now. Hi, Angel! That's what I called him. I called him my angel because I had two cats before I moved here. And I had them for 10 years and I had to give them up to get here. And my landlord felt so bad that I had to give up my cats. She told me I could have them back. And when my cats were older, the ones I had are a lot older than this one, uh, I decided not to stress them out too much because they're in the new home, plus I lost the contact with the new owners and blah blah blah. Long story short, they're in with their new owners and I'm quite happy about that. And I got this little bugger and she told me I could keep him. My landlord did and um, I couldn't be happier, honestly. He's quite... He's great company for me. I live by myself, so it's it's good to have a cat around. And uh, I love him to death. He's quite squirmy right now. He wants to get down, but I'll get him down. Hang on. There you go. There you go. Bye bye, Angel. Anyway, you guys can see him. He's quite the huge cat. As you can tell, just spot. So from my windowsill now. You see how big he is? This is getting closer. Anyway, he's a massive cat. He's, I think he's a quarter person or something like that. Anyway, um, that's all I want to talk about today. I want to talk about my pet and um, the ones I had before were Nico and Lola. Lola was a very saucy, very defensive, skittish kind of cat. And she only loved me. Uh, unfortunately, um, she didn't like strangers very much, and Nico was the opposite. They were like night and day. Nico was a mancoon, and he was a snuggle bug, like this guy that I have, and um, he snuggles with me sometimes when he feels like it. <laughs> that's a cat's life for you. They do what they want. Anyway, that's it for now. You guys can share off your uh, pet stories if you got any, any pet stories you're welcome to show them off oh i got tons i i grew up with dogs and cats so it was like uh i remember i